Here we are looking at some properties of derivatives with logs and natural logs. Uh, anytime you're trying to take the derivative of a log with some base, uh, just x, so not a function, it's literally just x, that will always come out to be 1 over x times the natural log of that base b. Now when we're looking and trying to take the derivative of the natural log of x, it's a little bit easier, it just comes out to be 1 over x, so a lot cleaner and nicer. When we're trying to take the derivative of the log base b of f of x now, like an actual function, we, well we have the derivative of our f of x on top divided by f of x, so just the original function before the derivative, times the natural log of b, so the natural log of whatever base that you had. And now lastly, if you're trying to take the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of a function, it comes out to be a little bit cleaner as well. It's just f prime of x divided by f of x. So the derivative of the function on top divided by your original function. And this one is really commonly used, uh, this last one. So, you know, just gotta keep that in mind. But again, these are some properties with just taking the derivatives of logs and natural logs. Um, there are proofs behind them. The proofs are pretty long and some of them are even like kind of a stretch on actually how to obtain them. So I didn't necessarily want to quite show you just because I didn't think that they were that important. Uh, but as long as you know the shortcuts and like how these things work out, I'm sorry, as long as you know like what they actually come out to be, then you'll be all right. But again, though, that is some of the properties with logs and natural logs.